So Infinite Warfare has me so concerned right now at this point in time that I'm raising red flags because of the way that it's just turned out to be right now. Originally, I actually had to redo this video because we didn't know about Infinite Warfare and their reveal, but we recently found out earlier today. And if you don't know what happened earlier today, I'm going to explain it and go back to my thoughts on Infinite Warfare from the time it was announced till now. So today, we were expecting a big surprise, I guess you can say, because Charlie Intel, lots of big YouTubers, got this black envelope in their mailbox, and when they opened it up, it happened to be about COD XP, which is an event that didn't happen since a couple years ago, and now they brought it back for Black Ops 3, and more importantly, Infinite Warfare. Now, I don't have a problem with COD XP. It's going to be... Uh, COD Champions fighting for prizes, a 2 million prize, I think they said. They have, like, paintball there, they have zombie stuff there, they have, uh, like, the Nuketown original map that they created in the past. I don't know, who knows what more they're going to have this year. It's just such a fun event in Los Angeles, California, that I would pretty much love to attend. It's going to be probably a fantastic event, and we're going to, uh, see that. But also, Along with the uh, the COD XP fun factor, apparently we are getting Infinite Warfare's multiplayer reveal at COD XP. COD XP, if you did not know, goes from September 2nd to September 4th of 2016. Now, obviously from that statement, you can see why I have red flags for Infinite Warfare. So, I'm going to go back to the beginning when it got announced up until now and why I have red flags and I'm concerned for the progress of this game. So... Infinite Warfare, when it first was announced and revealed, we didn't get any sort of campaign or, or a trailer for it. It was just Infinite Warfare, and people were getting pissed because, you know, it's about space, and we already had the speculations earlier on it was about space. I didn't have any care. I didn't say, oh, well, that's... I mean, I said, well, it's stupid, but I didn't hate the game at that point in time. Even when the trailer did release, I didn't hate the game. The trailer was pretty good, in my own opinion. At first, I think the trailer flowed well. The problem is, is that most people don't like the futuristic setting, and we all know that already. Uh, I did not have any hatred towards Infinite Warfare, and I still don't, to be honest. I don't think it's going to be a good game, like I keep mentioning, but I do have hope for it, and I hope it is a good game. That's, that's the point. There's two different points there, is that I don't hate the game, but I don't think it's going to be a good game, but I hope that... It is a good game. So, with that in mind, after the trailer released and it got so much backlash, I was just like, well, it is what it is. I didn't hate it at that point. I still don't hate it at that point in time. And then the Battlefield 1 trailer released and it was a complete uh, abomination towards the Infinite Warfare trailer. And that was just amazing in and on itself. But then we hear the big news that Infinite Warfare is going to be at E3. So I got really excited for this because Black Ops 3 did this uh, last year when they announced the multiplayer really early. It got people excited to play the beta. And then I read, oh, it's going to be Campaign Infinite Warfare and MW Remastered. Now, I'm not really concerned about Modern Warfare Remastered because we already know it's COD 4. Whether they take stuff out and put stuff in, whatever they do to change it, it's COD 4. We know what it's going to be like for the most part. So I'm not really worried or concerned about that game however infinite warfare we have no idea what the multiplayer can be like no matter what anyone says so i was expecting to see some multiplayer gameplay at e3 it only makes sense since black ops 3 did it last year but that was not the case this is my first red flag because it's going to take a long time to see the multiplayer and we know that there's probably going to be a beta come later on in the year to test this game and i was like okay our little red flag here i'm concerned as to why they aren't showing off the multiplayer is it going to be good at that point if they just don't want to show it off because it's bad whatever the case may be i had concerns for it because it's still not going to be at e3 the multiplayer we're only going to be able to see campaign which is fine i don't hate campaign or anything like that it's just campaign is not multiplayer and multiplayer is what people want to see in a call of duty game now moving forward from that we find out this news about cod xp which is all great and all like i said i'd love to go there i'd love to see it live streamed and everything like that and the fun that the champions are going to have and the extras that are there but then we find out infinite warfare is going to be revealed on september 2nd of 2016 the for the multiplayer and that raises so many red flags for me, because at first, going back to E3, I was like, okay, well, if they're not going to show multiplayer there, maybe we'll get it towards the end of July, maybe August sometime, it can't be later than August, and it turns out it's a full month later than August, it's September 2nd. So, let's say, worst case scenario, let's just say there's no beta coming out, let's just say it's confirmed, they don't want to have a beta for Infinite Warfare, and it's revealed on the 2nd. 
that's still late to fix your game if we don't like something that that's in it. But furthermore, if we do have a beta, how are they going to fix anything? It's it, most likely, let's just put this in terms, into correct terms, I guess, because we can only guess now. The beta, if there would be a beta, or if there is, which probably will happen because of Activision and we see some leaks and stuff like that, will probably most likely happen on PS4 last week of September, and the first week of October for Xbox One and PC. So, if some, if people don't like something or something's overpowered or whatever, the game's already going to be on the disc at that point. Treyarch did it right where it's like, Okay, last week of August, early week, first week of September, they had their beta, then they had a full month, and then beyond to fix some stuff, put it on the disc. You're not going to have that with Infinite Warfare. If they're showing off the multiplayer this late, and then giving a beta this late, they either don't want to show off their multiplayer to get people excited, or the multiplayer is just not complete, and people they know people aren't going to like it. So it's one of those, and I think, honestly, that it's just not complete, it's not finished, because why are they showing it off so late? It seems like... This Call of Duty multiplayer reveal is the latest that I've ever seen it be. I mean, it should be where Black Ops 3 is. If they showed off gameplay of multiplayer at E3, no matter what it was at this point in time when they show it off, that's what we should see. I don't want to wait an extra three months to see a more completed version of the multiplayer. Give it to me now so we can see it, or at least earlier than September 2nd, and that's my only reason why I have concerns for this game, because I just don't think it, it was going to be good from the start when we first heard about it, and now this makes me raise more red flags, saying that it's just not going to be completed in time. I mean, they've had three years to do this, and they can't show off the multiplayer. It's it's really just concerning and frightening to me, even. More shocking when I heard about it on September 2nd. I just couldn't believe it. Then I got frustrated, frightened, and now I'm just concerned at this point for the game's release in November. So what do you think about this? I mean, like I said, COD XP is going to be an amazing event. They had it a couple years ago. I think it was in Modern Warfare 3, then they didn't do it since. Now they're bringing it back for Black Ops 3, but more importantly, Infinite Warfare. And the only reason I think they're doing that, they're piggybacking Infinite Warfare on COD XP to gain more uh, sales on the ticket so people go, or whatever the case may be, you could say that. But either way, Infinite Warfare's reveal is late this year, and it, it just is what it is. I'm just frustrated with it and concerned for the progress of the game, so let me know your thoughts down below as far as that. And this is Ninja Geek. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. And peace.